This is Dall-E Mini, which is an AI that generates photos for you based on whatever you type in. I typed in Nathan driving in Forza, and as it turns out, the AI is really good and gave me these images. These are not photos. These are AI generated images. So chat, give me something to type in. Can we type in chess? Chess doing a handstand. <laughs> Elon Musk riding a dolphin. Oh. <laughs> you might have seen the video that I made last week where I had an AI design a car. Today, we're jumping back into automation. And here's something I built earlier. This is my drag car. It has 1,800 horsepower. I wanted to see who is faster, a human or an AI. We're going to build whatever the AI thinks a drag car is in automation and then import my car and the AI. AI car into BMNG, test them on the drag strip, and see which one is faster. I guess I'm just gonna type in drag car, drag racing car, and then I can choose a body that looks similar. Whoa! I don't know what's going on with this one or this one, but those look incredible. Roll down to the 1960s. This car looks incredible, and it's from 1969. To make things fair between myself and the AI, I'm gonna choose all the same stuff. So like carbon fiber, a space frame chassis, and then we need an engine. Drag racing engine? Um, yo, these are sick. This is 100% a V8, and there's at least one of them that kind of looks like it has a turbo charger, so I think we need to turbo it. They're all massive, and they all stick out the hood. Let's try and build it. Let's go for a V90. V8 engine. I like where this is going. And then I gotta get the biggest engine that'll fit. We're a 6.5 liter V8 with dual overhead cams. This is a terrible idea. Let's go billet steel flat plane crank. So it's gonna sound... Wait, I guess I should do just like a regular crank. So it sounds like an American muscle car. Let's also let it rev to 10,000 RPM for the moment. I don't see any of these engines with two turbos. I think we've got to go single turbo, huh? It's what the AI chose. It's not my fault. <laughs> Ooh, I could go for a carburetor. I'm going to put that on for now. Headers, tubular race headers. Jeez. Now that's an engine. It's you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. They all have massive thick exhaust. Like you can see the headers. And then, I'm just going to toss on the big exhaust because it looks cool. That's a big boy. Catalytic converters? No. It actually revs to 4,000 RPM, gets to 900 horsepower. It then manages to lose all of the horsepower until it explodes. My fuel. I, I totally forgot about my fuel. I'm going to need like nitromethane again, huh? Uh, it now explodes much sooner. I, I feel like I have to leave the carburetor because that's what the AI chose. Like, I know if I went direct injection and then like per cylinder look i'm getting a thousand one hundred horsepower we gotta do it this way a quad carburetor is that any better oh my god that kind of works what's it sound like now it sounds like a real muscle car okay what if i turbo it now <laughs> big single turbo tuned for racing we have a problem whoa there we go there we go 1,500 foot-pounds of torque and 1,500 horse... Test. Test. It works. Please ignore these. All right, let's go and make this thing into something cool. I think we have to let the AI choose our drag race car color. Drag racing paint. That works. We are committed to whatever color it pops up in the top left-hand corner. None of the other colors will matter. Just the top left. Yellow it is. I can't believe it gave me top fuel dragsters. I think the main body yellow and then a black stripe and maybe a little bit of blue if we can. That's a color. I think that looks kind of good. I guess now it's time for all of our fixtures and stuff, huh, chat? Front of drag car. Okay. I like that. H what? How is the AI so good today? Bruh, this is supposed to be haha, -ha, very funny stream. 
And I mean, the only funny one is the one with three headlights. All the others actually look so sick. I think a common thing I'm seeing in all of these are like circle headlights. Again, I can go for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, those are a little big. I, I like this. I like this. I like this. Oh my god, this is gonna be so sick. No joke, this might actually be the nicest car <laughs> I've ever made. The sad part is, it's an AI making it and not me. I think this looks really good. Rear of a drag car. I think while this goes on, let me find, like, a front license plate. Uh, not exactly what I had in mind. Then we can change the license plate. Something a little bit more appropriate. No? Way. How is the AI literally on fire today? It's like square headlights, square headlights, square headlights, tail lights. And I think that's all I need. And then room for a license plate in the middle again. I actually can't believe the AI is about to make a nicer looking car than me. That's actually not bad. I guess we should work on the hood. And I guess we're going to need to go for a big blower. This is literally the most nerve wracking part because you don't know what the AI is going to show. What the hell are these? <laughs> Maybe this will give better results. Uh, that's just Paul. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'm just typing in drag racing car again. Just give me a blower, okay? None of these are really helpful, but I think I'm gonna go with something like... Sure. Yes. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Even on these photos, you can see like all of the cars have like a little front lip. You know what? Maybe something kind of just like this. That so works. Oh my God, that works so well. According to the AI, drag racers shop at Walmart for their car part. Please pay no attention to that sitting on the glass, okay? Should we go for this style of rear wing or should we go with this one where it connects on either side? Nick, this this is the first good car you made. Don't ruin it. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. We'll go with this one. Oh, I definitely need like a tow hook. Hold on. Let's get a tow hook. This is just for when I inevitably crash. Someone can tow me out of the ditch, okay? What does a drag car exhaust look like? But why does this always happen to me? Like, actually. Wait, 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 wait. This might work. This might actually work. This is gonna be sick. That's actually so cool. How is this car so much better than mine? Yep, 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 yep. Change of plans. I, I made a... I made... I, I'm... I'm Ken Block. I feel like I'm happy with that. Now we can go to our drivetrain. So, like I said, the one rule was that it had to be rear wheel drive. I'm gonna go dual clutch, six speed, and so on and so forth. No Mkakalever underscore 69. Uh, once again, a bit sus. Just to make things fair again, I'm gonna go semi slicks for the car and crank the sizes. Carbon ceramic brakes and maximum size. Export. Off to BeamNG Drive we go, boy. My car looks pretty sick. All right, let's spot in the other one. Twitch chat, let's do a little sound comparison and see which one sounds better. That is insane! My one's not bad, but I think it's a clear win for the AI. Mine is a twin turbo V8, but it's a flat plane crank instead of like a cross plane crank. And that's why it sounds so different. I just realized that was the most nerdy thing I've ever said on this YouTube channel. Moving on! <laughs> In three, two, one. Away we go. My one's pretty fast. My, my one's really fast. Um, an 8.2 second quarter mile at 187 miles an hour. There is no way the AI car is beating that. Well, anyways, let's stage ourselves up, rev it up. And away we go. Whoa, that thing's fast too. The whole front of, oh. Uh, bro, this could be close. What? <laughs> um, I just did a 7.9. No, no, no. Here we go. That was a brilliant reaction time. Oh, we're gone. Oh, we're so gone. That's the fastest. I'm gonna... A 7.5. I gotta give RuPaul's man another go. Mind up. There we go. No way. No way can the AI take off like that. 
Like, that was a good run, a 7.7, .7, but I think my car's too fast. I think my car is just way too fast. Like, the AI got a 7.6 in my car. Maybe we need a little top speed test. Maybe we should head back to the grid. They obviously weren't designed for it, but it might be interesting to see what they do. So, let's go. 120, 140, 150, 160, 70, 80, 90, 200 miles an hour. That thing's insanely fast off the line. 17 PSI of boost. That's crit. Um. Um. I have no idea how that's possible. But 248 miles an hour is the top speed. And it also now has the world record for the longest wheelie. 150, 160, 170, 80, 90. 200. This thing's only got 14 PSI of boost, but there's 220, 230. No way is this thing going to be faster. 240? Uh, 254? 259? 260? How did I just lose another challenge? All right, well, I guess it's time to figure out which one of our cars will jump further. So what speed should we hit the jump at? Maybe if we aim for 150 miles an hour... I feel like that'd be fair. There's 130, a little bit more, a little bit more. There's 150. And where do we land? Where do we land? Pretty much bang on on the 300. Okay. All right, 150 off the jump. No way. On that bombshell, I guess I'm going to retire and hire an AI in my place. At least mine's still drivable.